I want to share with you how I grew my mulberry woody stem cuttings. My goal here will be on keeping it simple with no overly complicated or expensive procedures or techniques and showing step-by-step -step instructions. The first thing you need to do, of course, is to obtain your woody stem cuttings. Use strong, large pruning shears or a sharp saw to cut down the mulberry branch. Note that the bark tears easily, so be sure and use tools that can create a clean cut. You can also purchase woody stem cuttings online, though of course fresh is best. Remove all the leaves from the stem. You will probably be able to get multiple sticks from one branch. As for length, I believe there's a large range of usable lengths. So, though size matters, it's not as important as you might think. I found a length anywhere between 12 to 20 inches grew okay. That's about 30 to 52 centimeters. I found another important factor to create your woody stems is by circumference. I obtained the best results with two to three inch circumference sticks. That's about five to eight centimeters. And I'm sure a bit larger is okay too. Along with the length, you should also note how many nodes are included on each stem. I think you should try to have at least six nodes. You will probably want to put two nodes worth below the surface of the soil and about four nodes above. So you have three criteria to help you create the perfect woody stem cutting, length, circumference, and number of nodes. By the way, to keep the stems oriented upright, you can mark it with a felt tip pen or note that the nodes point upwards and this always allows you to figure out which end is up. The next step is to expose a little bit of the cambium, the green part of the bark. This is where the roots will grow out of. At the bottom of your woody stem cutting, use a knife to gently scrape off some of the bark until you see the white part of the stem, exposing the green section of the bark, the cambium. I tried to expose the cambium on two sides of the stem. This is actually quite easy to do. Looking good. The next step is optional but recommended. Rooting hormone is one of those gardening supplies that you probably only need to purchase once and you will have enough for a lifetime. And it can be found at a reasonable price. Apply rooting hormone to the exposed cambium section. If you are using a liquid rooting hormone, allow it to dry for a minute or so before planting. If you are applying a powder or gel type, you do not need to wait. I will be planting our woody stems in containers with normal potting soil. I have pre-moistened the soil. Bury the stems so that the cambium that you exposed is in the soil and as a guide you should probably bury it about two nodes deep. To help me maintain a high humidity level for our plants, I am going to put a piece of plastic around the base of the container. Take a large piece of plastic and mark where your woody stems are. Poke sufficiently large holes in your plastic so that you can gently pull them over the stems. Then take some kind of string or rope and tie up the plastic. You should probably try and keep your woody stem cuttings above 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 22 degrees Celsius, and preferably even warmer if you can. Keep your containers in a shaded area where it receives plenty of indirect light but probably no direct sun for the first couple of weeks. Check your containers to make sure the soil stays moist but not saturated. Two week update. Four of our cuttings are growing quite nicely. The ones that are thinner and have a green appearance do not seem to be growing and producing any leaves. Three week update. Our mulberry woody stem cuttings are looking pretty good. Five of the stem cuttings that are two inches or greater in circumference have nice leaves. It's the smaller ones that are less than two inches in circumference that are not generating any leaves. And I'm starting to give some of the plants with a lot of leaves a bit of morning light. Four week update. 
our woody stem cuttings are doing great, though with no new major developments, but a lot of new growth. The two skinny ones never developed anything. These two back here. And this one also never generated any leaves. I'm going to pull them out so we can take a better look. Nothing. Nothing at all. I also want to pull this one out and take a look. Yeah, nothing on that one either. I'm really happy with the results of our cuttings. They're doing great. I'm going to leave the plastic around the base for maybe a couple more weeks with the philosophy, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And then I will take them off. If you choose to use this method, please leave a comment below and let me know your results. Happy gardening. Click on the community tab for updates and previews of upcoming videos. Click on the playlist tab for videos grouped by subject. See ya.